Hi, previously we discussed about the concept of simple interest, which is a very important concept, especially in money transactions in daily living. Now, in this video, you will be learning more about how to find the values of the principal, the rate, and the time of a loan. Aside from finding the interest and maturity value of a loan or an investment, formulas may be derived for finding the principal, rate, and time. Here are the formulas. Following this mnemonic triangle, which has the symbols for interest, principal, rate, and time, we have these formulas. If we are solving for the value of the principal, all you have to do is just to divide the interest by the product of the rate and time. Therefore, we have P equals IS divided by rate times time. Or, we have the principal is equal to the future value divided by 1 plus rate times time. Also, if we are looking for the value of the rate, all we have to do is just to divide the interest by the product of P and T. Therefore, we have the formula, rate is equal to the interest divided by P times T. Or, the rate is equal to F minus P divided by P T. And finally, if we are looking for the value of the term, we are going to divide the interest by the product of P and R. Then we have T is equal to the interest divided by PR or T is equal to the future value minus the principal all over PR. On the previous video on introduction of the concept of simple interest, we already discussed some problems that involves solving for the values of the principal, rate, and time. But this time, we will discuss more examples so that we can further master this concept. Here is example number one. Lisa's Health Spa obtained a loan to open a new station. The interest on the loan secured was 22,000 pesos and the money borrowed was for three months at 5.5% simple interest. Find the principal borrowed. In this particular problem, we are asked to identify the value of the principal given the following data. We have 22,000 pesos is the interest on the loan secured. Therefore, 22,000 pesos is our IS. Then we have 3 months is our term. Now, since our term is in months, we need to convert this one first into year. And then we have the simple interest is 5.5% in rate. For the solution of example number one, we have this data. Our interest is 22,000 pesos. Our rate is 0 0.055. This is because we have 5.5% interest and when we convert this one into decimal, we will get 0 0.055. And then finally, since our term is in months, we need to convert this into the year by dividing 3 by 12, then we get 0 0.25. Now, we will look for the value of P. Since we're looking for the value of P, we have the formula principal is equal to the simple interest divided by rate times term. Substituting the values, we have I is 22,000 divided by the rate is 0 0.055 times the term, which is 0 0.25. Now, Multiplying 0 0.055 by 0 0.25, we will get 22,000 divided by 0 0.01375. Now, after multiplying the rate and the, time, the term, we will divide 22,000 by 0 0.01375 and then we will get 1,600,000.
Now we are down to our second example. Determine the simple interest rate if an investment of 37,500 accumulates to 45,937 pesos and 50 centavos in 18 months. In this particular problem, we are asked to identify for the simple interest rate. And we have the following given data. 37,500 pesos is the original investment. Therefore, this 37,500 is our principal amount. Then, it accumulates to 45,937 pesos and 50 cents. Therefore, this is the future value. From 37,500, it became 45,937 pesos and 50 centavos in just 18 months. Therefore, 18 months is our term. Now, in looking for the rate, we have the given future value, term, and the principal amount. Here's the solution for example number two. We have the given data, our P is 37,500, our F is 45,937 pesos and 50 centavos, and our term is 18 months. We are going to convert 18 months to year, therefore we will have to divide 18 by 12 and we get 1.5 years. Since we already have the values for our principal, future value, and term, now we're going to find the value of our R. And we will use the formula, R is equal to the future value minus the principal divided by the principal times the term. Substituting the value we have, our future value is 45,937 pesos and 50 centavos minus the principal amount which is 37,500 divided by the principal amount again is 37,500 times the term which is 1.5. Then, we are going to subtract 45,937 pesos and 50 centavos by 37,500 then we get 8,437 pesos and 50 centavos. Next, we will multiply 37,500 by 1.5, then we get the product of 56,250. Now, to finally, finally get the value of our rate, we will divide 8,437 pesos and 50 centavos by 56,250, then we get 0 0.15. Since this is in decimal form, we will again convert this into its percent form so that we can get the rate. And we can do that by multiplying it by 100. Now, 0 0.15 times 100, we will get the value of 15%. Therefore, the rate of this problem is 15%. Now we are down to our last example for this video. If 5,000 pesos lent at 18% simple interest earned 450 pesos interest, for how long was the 5,000 pesos lent? In this problem, we are asked how long was the original amount of 5,000 pesos lent. Therefore, we are looking for the value of our term. Now, to solve this, we will need to identify first our given data. First, we have 5,000 pesos which is originally lent. Therefore, 5,000 pesos is our principal amount. Then we have here 18% simple interest. Therefore, this is our rate. Again, to convert 18% into its decimal form, all we have to do is just to divide this by 100 or 
by moving to two decimal places to the left. So we have one and two. Okay, we will stop here. I hope it's clear. Therefore, this is 0 0.18. Just to be clear, we move it like this, one and then two. We stop just in front of one. That is why the new decimal point is before one. And then finally, we have this 450 pesos, which is the interest. Therefore, 450 is our IS. Solving for the example number three, we have the following data. Our principal amount is 5,000 pesos. Our rate, which we converted from 18% earlier, is 0 0.18. And our simple interest is 450 pesos. Now, we will find the value of our term. We will use the formula T is equal to the simple interest divided by the product of the principal and the rate. Substituting the value, we have our simple interest is 450 pesos divided by our principal is 5,000 times our rate, which is 0 0.18. Okay, so we have 450 divided by 5,000 times 0 0.18, we have 0 0.5 years or six months. That ends our discussion. I hope you learned new things about how to solve for the values of the principal, the rate, and the term relative to the concept of simple interest. If you wish to learn more about mathematics, check my other videos and don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and Godspeed!